Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Reading Resolutions. Today I'm actually going to be doing a bookshelf tour. Now with my bookshelf tour, I'm recording this on my still camera. I will be using my cell phone to actually go through my bookshelves. Um, so things will get a little shaky, I am sorry. But, uh, I will be doing a further bookshelf tour later on. This is very temporary. I only have two bookshelves right now. Um, there are a couple of shelves where they are so crammed in, I can't get books um, out of the shelf without destroying, like pulling out all the books. Um, so, yeah. Uh, welcome to my bookshelf tour and enjoy. Um, I will be hopefully getting another updated one near the end of the year but this should hold you guys off. Um, I will also uh, include some still images, so. Yeah, you're looking at my bookshelves right now. I am sorry about any shaking or anything. I am filming this on my cell phone. Um, it's the most mobile thing and an easiest way to do this. Um, so just general from top to bottom. These are my two bookshelves I have right now. I do need at least one more. I have a whole bin of books um, and some books are out on loan right now. Uh, and as you can see, there are some shelves that are pretty stocked full. I don't like to put books on the bottom because I have a cat and he has a tendency to get in my bookshelves. Um, and usually if I leave the bottom shelves open, he doesn't seem to, uh, come up to the upper ones too much after that. Um, so just from the top to bottom, uh, up on the top, and yes, I have a CD tower in the middle, um, up on the top are my Halloween Horror Night Blinky Cups. Um, these actually do blink. We'll just grab 22 here. And they blink. So those are all my alcohol um, collection. I, yes. And we even have a couple shot glasses, which do blink, but you have to put um, liquid in them for it to trigger, so, yes. Um, but, so we're going to start off the top on my drinky cups. There's Fillmore up there. I have an obsession with Fillmore. I am sorry. Um, we're going to go these one shelf at a time. I'm going to start off with the corner and then work my way over to this one. Um, I am sorry about how random some of these shelves are. Uh, some make sense, some don't. Okay. Start off with my Joanna Lindsay shelf. Yeah. It's a big shelf. Um, over here in the corner, uh, I usually like to mix things up in my shelves, so this is really weird that I have such full shelves. Um, but yeah. Over in the corner, we have my cauldron candle. I don't want to burn this. I like it. It's fun. Um, I actually got this for being a, um... Uh, a scare person in a haunted house, a scare actor. Yeah, so I like that. Um, and then my Lego Yoda hut. So we're going to start in the corner here. Um, these first two rows are all uh, series books that I've put together. This last row has a couple series books and then a lot of one-offs leading into my hardbacks. Um, so yes. Uh, we're going to start over here in the corner. Once a Princess and You Belong to Me. These are part of the um, Cordonia series. I could be wrong on pronouncing that. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, those are together. Um, this is my Stratton Family series. Um, a Heart So Wild, All I Need Is You. Love Only Once, Gentle Rogue, The Mallory, the, Make, the Magic of You, Tender Rebel, and Say You Love Me. These are not, oh, yeah, these are not in order. Um, these are all part of my Mallory Family Mallory series um, Holiday Present actually features two stories and one of them is a Mallory novel so that's why that's there. Um, then we have the Wyoming series which are not connected they're just all placed in the same setting and that is um, Brave the Wild Wind, Savage Thunder, and Angel. Um, Defy Not the Heart and Joining are together. I don't remember what series they are. Uh, Keeper of the Heart and Heart of a Warrior. Ooh, the glare's really bad on those guys, sorry. Uh, Keeper of the Heart, Heart of the Warrior. These are my Lysenter families. Uh, Fires of Winter, Hearts of Flame, and Surrender My Love. These are the, um, Harad or Herod, H-A-R-D, um, 
but yeah, this is my Harad or Herod, however you want to pronounce that. And then, Let Love Find You, uh, Tender as a Storm, A Pirate's Love, Silver Angel, A Man to Call My Own, Secret Fire. These, I believe, are all one-offs. I don't think they belong into anything until forever. I want to say it's part of a series, but I don't have the rest of it. I'm not really sure. I might be a one-off as well. Um, but these are all individual stories. There's no connections here. The Pursuit and the Air are together. They're part of a series together. A Rogue of My Own. Actually, I do have the series connection to this. It's actually over here in my hardbacks. But A Rogue of My Own, yeah. Um, sorry, Yoda. Bye. Uh, Prisoner of My Desire. This was actually, um, I got this in my January book haul, and as I explained, this was the first one that started me with this author, and I've stuck with it. The Devil Who Tamed Her. This is the sequel to A Rogue of My Own, so there's that. A Loving Scoundrel, No Choice But Seduction, Captive of My Desire, and That Perfect Someone. These are all Mallory novels, all these four. And then we're going to go down to my second shelf, which is also more um, historical romance. Nora Roberts, Julia Quinn, and a cup. I have a couple of randoms on the end. Uh, I put my Port Orleans cup. Um, I worked at Port Orleans Resort back at Disney for a while. There's some goodies, um, mostly. I think they're mostly Disney goodies in there. And then we have 1958 Plymouth Fury, and I have a Fillmore. So, um, Say You Love Me. This is part of the Mallory series. This is a hardback. I do have this in softback, but I present both of them together. Um... Bride of the Unicorn. Uh, this is, to give you an idea, this shelf is like really chucked full. Um, if I pull something out, it's going to uh, collapse everything. True Betrayals. Uh, my sister actually is a big Nora Roberts fan and actually had some doubles, and I believe she had a hardback of this, so that's why I have this in paperback, and it's really, really. Yeah. Um, Blood Brothers, The Hollow, and The Pagan Stone. These are the sign. This is the Sign of Seven trilogy. Um, Morgan's Cross, Dance of the Gods, Valley of Silence. This is the Circle trilogy. Key of Light, Key of Knowledge, Key of Valor. Gee, I wonder what this is. It's the Key series. That's right. Um, yeah, this book's upside down. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Nightshade, Night Smoke, Night Shift, Night Shadow, and Night Shield, Night Moves. This is a series together. Um, there's six short stories all put together. Uh, Angels Fall. Um, this is a book my sister gave me. It was a double she had, so yeah. That's why I have it. Um, and then, let me move the Fury here. This is all my Julia Quinn novels. I will admit, this is something a friend told me to get, and I love this series, and I love this writer. Julia Quinn is um, very similar to Joanna Lindsay. It's why I got it, and yeah. So, I'm actually going to do this kind of awkwardly, because I have to explain this. Um, these seven books, not this one, but these six plus this one is one family. It's the uh, Briggerton family. Um, so we have the Duke and I, the Viscount who loved me, offer from a gentleman. Romancing Mr. Briggerton to Sir Philip with love when he was wicked, and it's in his kiss. These is one family. These are seven siblings. Their stories. The Secret Diaries and Miss Miranda Kiever. You actually find out, I believe, in It's in His Kiss, uh, who this character is. Miss Miranda Kiever, she is a gossip columnist writer. Um, and you do find out who she is um, in one of these books. And this is kind of um, her diaries, her stories. Then we have What Happens in London and uh, On the Way to the Wedding. I believe these two are together. To Mar Catch an um, Heiress and How to Marry a Marquis. These are together. Lost Duke of Windham, Mr. Cadavish, I presume, this is together, um, and A Night Like This. This does have more in the series, I just have not received it yet. Um, I haven't bought them yet. Um, these, believe it or not, are side characters. You may have met one of the characters in Romancing Mr. Brigaton, and it led into this series, or this is all the same world. You will hear mention of the Brigertons in these books. You will hear... Um, mentions of Miss Miranda Kiever, the gossip columnist in these books. This is all in the same setting. These all kind of interconnect, and it's what's really, really fun about her writing, and I love it. So we're going to move on to the next shelf now that I've kind of spent some time on that. On to this um, shelf. Uh, this is mostly my fantasy stories. So we have The Mists of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley. We have Looking Glass Wars and Seeing King Red. Um, sorry, they're backwards. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. 
Then we have the Ugly series, so we have Uglies, Pretties, Specials, and Extras. Then we have Sequest DSV, the novel. Um, this was a very popular TV series in the 90s, and I loved it, and it was one of my favorites, so I have the novel. Um, the Princess Bride by William Goldman. I got this version because it had an excerpt from the sequel that he was going to write. I don't think it ever got published. Um, the Gnome Mobile. This is just one of those fun novels I got. I love this movie. As you can tell, this is a very beat up copy. Um, I got this off paperback swap. I couldn't find it anywhere even though I knew it existed. Um, but yeah, this is um, the Gnome Mobile. Then we have the A Song of Ice and Fire. So Game of Thrones, Clash of Kings, Storm of Swords, Feast for Crows. So we have those. Then we have my Harry Potter series. The Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. And we're going to go down to the last shelf on this case. Um, and these, these are mostly random novels. Um, this made sense to me at the time. I don't know what I was thinking. So, we have Love the One You're With by Emily Giffen, um, A Hopeless Romantic, Harriet Evans, I Do But I Don't, Kara Lockwood, Jemina J, Jane Green, The Notebook, Dear John, and The Last Song, all my Nicholas Sparks books, Statistical uh, Probability of Love at First Sight, Dash and Lilies, Book Could Dares, Where the Heart Is. Um, I have two Agatha Christie books. Um, these are actually, I believe, the original titles. Um, Take a Flood, which is actually um, as there is a tide, and Five Little Pigs, which is normally uh, murder in retrospect. So yeah. Um, who censored Roger Rabbit, guys? You remember the Disney movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Here's the book. They are completely different. And look how crappy Roger... Look how creepy he is. He looks horrible. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, this is the book. Um, it's nothing like the movie. So I was really disappointed. Disney did a better job. Christine, Needful Things, It, um, Stephen King on Writing, and Pet Cemetery. Ooh, I still have a sticker on that. Yeah, I have to replace that. Um, so yeah, Stephen King. Guess what? I actually own those. No, they're my boyfriend's, actually. Uh, no, Needful Things is mine, and it's mine. Um, Psycho. This is actually my boyfriend's book, but yeah, they're in my bookcase. Psycho, Psycho 2, Psycho House. Mask of the Red Death, Anna Dressed in Blood, Gone, The Replacement, Eve, and Cinder. That is it for bookcase number one. Case number two. So we're going to start up here. Um, this is my Oracle tarot cards. I love this artist. I can't wait to get... She has actually has another tarot set um, that I plan on receiving eventually. But I love her and the artwork is amazing. Um, then we're going to start off with uh, my Dark Hunter series. Um, and I actually have more over here. There's uh, the Dream Hunter, which is a connection to this. Um, all these kind of intertwine together, so... Um, we're just going to go down the list. These I actually did put kind of in reading order, going down and then across. Um, but yeah, they get messed up a lot. I love these books. Um, Fantasy Lover, Night Pleasures, Night Embrace, Dance of the Devil, Kiss of the Night, Night Play, um, Seize the Night, Sins of the Night, Unleash the Night, and Bad Moon Rising. Um, we have Devil May Cry, No Mercy. Retribution, Acheron or Asheron, depending on how you pronounce it. The um, proper pronunciation we learn in this book is Acheron, but we've been knowing him as Ash, and um, people have been saying Asheron for so long, so I would not be surprised if people still insist on calling this Asheron, but the pronunciation we have learned is Acheron. And then we have Sticks. Um, and then this is a young adult novel that connects with the Dark Hunter series. This is a Chronicles of Nick, book one. Um, Infinity. And I do plan on getting the rest of these. I do love this character. I can't wait till he actually has an actual Dark Hunter book, which is supposed to lead into that, so I can't wait. Um, the reason I have so many paperbacks and then these went into hardcovers, um, I love this series a lot. I read this series a lot. Um, but Devil May Cry was, like, the first 
hardback they ever made in the series. So all of these I bought as they were coming out and yeah, that was the first hardback. They are releasing these in hardbacks now, so um, I'm debating on whether to uh, replace those. But yeah. Um, and then we have another Fillmore. Okay. Um, down here, these are all part of this. This is the Dream Hunters. They kind of connect into the Dark Hunters. And we have the Dream Hunter, Dream Chaser, and Dream Warrior. Um, as I said, these connect into the Dark Hunter series. Um, I just placed them off on the side because they don't kind of fit into the reading order. Uh, we're going to go up this spine because I already started at the bottom. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. This is actually the movie tie-in because I was looking for a copy and I didn't have one. And I don't know why, because I do like this series. I was so excited when this movie was coming out. And I don't think the movie did bad, but, um, book is awesome. And then these books are probably some of the oldest I own. Um, just because they didn't start out as mine. This is my peers, Anthony. I know these are not in reading order, so um, I'm sorry. Uh, on a pale horse with tangled skin, wielding the red sword, bearing an hourglass for the love of evil, and being a green mother. I forget if these are actually, yeah, uh, incarnations of immort or immortality. The vampire's assistant. I do not know why. Everyone says they read these in in school, but I don't remember ever reading the series in school, so when the movie came out, I was insistent on getting at least a general gist of it. So I got the um, first three uh, books. Wow, I didn't realize it was that. Okay. Uh, I got the first three books of the Vampire Assistant um, Cirque de Freak series. Um, yeah. I don't know how I felt about that. I think I would have to get the whole series, and I don't feel like buying the whole series. Um, and then I have The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide. This is actually my boyfriend's dad's, um, but we kind of confiscated it. And this is all of the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide books. So there's six books in this one. It's a big fat thing, but yeah, it's a fun read if you like The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Then we have what was actually meant to be my vampire. Um shelf and it kind of turned into a little more than that. Um, we have Stay Puff in the corner over here. Um, down here, uh, Legendary Truth. Um, these are actually supposed to go on the car, but I don't want to pull them out of the plastic. Um, Legendary Truth is a game that's played during Halloween Horror Nights here in Orlando. And yeah, so we got those. Um, so Shadow Moon, this is actually the sequel to Willow. Uh, Wicked by Gregory Maguire. Depraved, um, I'm not sure what this is. This is my boyfriend's. Uh, Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code. We have Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park in The Lost World. Um, I love these books. I was not a fan of the movies. How scary is that? Um, anyway, Anne Rice, Interview with a Vampire and The Vampire Lestat. I would never finished the series. I don't know why. I don't, don't know why I never finished the series, but I didn't. Then we have My Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Incarnation. Um, by Emma Cornwall. Um, I can't wait to get to this book. And we have the Twilight series. But Twilight, Eclipse, New Moon, Breaking Dawn. I have Stephanie Meyer's The Host. Um, this kind of invaded for obvious reasons. It's Stephanie Meyer. And I want to keep my um, authors together. And then we have J.R. Ward's Black Dagger Brotherhood. I am missing, I believe, now two books of this series. So um, this is not a complete series, but I am missing two. This is another one where they were in paperback for a while went to hardcover, and I don't know if I'm actually going to go out and get the hardcovers, but we have Dark Lover, Dark Lover Enshrined, Lover Awakened, Lover Revealed, Lover Eternal, Lover Unbound, Lover Mine, and Lover Avenged. So, yes. There you go. Vampires. And this, ser um, this is kind of like my movie shelf. We're going to start over here, work our way over most... Wow, there's kind of like a spot in there. Hold on. Let me move that up a little bit. Um, so yes, we're going to start with that. So we have uh, Titanic, the movie book. We have the making of Ghostbusters. Game Informer Ghostbusters. Um, several children's books that are Ghostbusters. The real Ghostbusters. These are pop-up books. Um, I have three of them. There's actually four in this series, and I don't know why we're missing the fourth one, but we are. 
then we have an activity guide of Ghostbusters. Um, we have Looking for Alaska by John Green, the time traveler's wife. Um, don't ask me why Looking for Alaska is in this shelf. It made sense at the time. Um, wait, there's another book down here. Yeah, there's the Ghostbusters novel. Believe it or not, they have one. Yeah. Uh, we have The Empire Strikes Back, Rogue Planet. We have the Jedi Academy Trilogy, Champions of the Forest, Dark Apprentice, Jedi Search. Assault at Salonia. This is part of the Corellian trilogy. Um, X-Wing series, X-Wing Back Wars, Tantooine's Ghost, Final Prophecy, Remnant, Dark Journey, Traitor, Rebel Dream, Rebel Stand, Revenge of the Sith, Destiny's Way, Unifying Force, Survivor's Quest, Betrayal, and my Attack of the Clones book, which is missing its dust jacket. Um, my Wookiee Cookies book. I desperately needed something for Peter Mayhew to sign, and there was nothing with Chewbacca. So I got the Wookiee Cookies book. So it's a cookbook. And then we have um, Dark Empire. I believe this is a graphic novel. Um, guide to Characters. Again, I needed something for people to sign. We have The Making of Inuyasha. Um, oh, this way. Sorry, guys. I forgot. It's backwards by Rumiko Takahashi. Um, this is the art of the anime and the manga. Um, I love Rumiko Takahashi. She is one of my favorite um, manga artists, and I love her, and I love her stories. And then we have The Making of Aragon, which I did have this series in books, but my daughters stole it. So I have to go get new ones. And then my last shelf is manga. Lots and lots of manga. We have the full Gravitation series. All 13. I do not have a EX. I don't know why I don't have a EX. But I have the, all 12 of the Gravitation manga. The two novelizations of Gravitation. Um, this is actually one of my favorite series. It is a yaoi. Um, but it's actually more shoujo than yaoi. But that's another story. Um, an official fan book for Tsubasa. This is actually all in Japanese, but I picked this up at an awesome deal at a uh, local Asian store, and um, that is no longer in business. But I got that for like a couple bucks, so I can't really complain. Then I have um, Absolute Boyfriend by Yu Watase. Um, Yu Watase has written many, many different series, and I do love her series. Um, these are the first four of Absolute Boyfriend. There's not much left of this series. I think there's only two or three left. Um, and then I would have a complete series. Uh, Death Note is something I really, really love. Um, but I do only have the first seven, which leads up to Elle's death. Then we have this novel, um, which was in my January book haul, Elle Changed the World. Then we have um, two Kingdom Hearts books, um, the manga, and then a fan book. Again, this is in Japanese. Um, my friend gave me these, so they're really, really cool. Um, then, Fruits Basket. I have 1 through 13. This is not a complete series, um, but very, very close. And I do love this series, so this is an awesome, fun series. And then I have two um, duologies um, of Yaoi. Um, because my friends knew I liked Gravitation, so they figured I'd love this. Uh, selfish Love and Until the Full Moon. And that is it for this one. So I am just flashing a few uh, still images of my bookshelves. Um, thank you for visiting my bookshelf tour. And stay tuned, uh, there's always some more. Um, as I said at the beginning, I will have an updated version at the end of the year. Uh, I already got more books in my bookshelves, so it's an ever-growing process. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye!